right, well, what we've got here is a 1953 Bulls Arrow Park model. It is in original condition. As you can see, it's stored inside. Uh, it was in Long Beach, Washington, bought brand new and placed under a shelter. So we're gonna go inside in just a couple of minutes and we're gonna take a look at it. Um, as we can tell from the exterior, you can definitely see some wear from the salt, but some good sand and polish would uh, make that look new. If we look close at the aviation style rivets and we can look at the general condition of the skin, um, it's an amazing condition. So, Bulls Arrow, made in California. Sliding glass door is something that was only available on the park models. So, I think they uh, made very few of them with that. Um, <clears throat> definitely see more of the wear from the salt air hitting that but it is not doesn't look like it's all the way through and it's built like an airplane so very solid no areas to where it is uh you know spread out um it's an aluminum spar interior so the wood that usually these rvs have that they're made out of this one doesn't have because it's all aluminum studs. So if you look at the natural contour of the roof, you can see the water doesn't like to sit on it as well. Even though this one was under cover, it has a gentle slope to it. The back has that flying 50s design, which if we can get back to the very back of it, we can see that that is in very good condition. Let's see if we can get around to the other side. Whoa! So the louvers on that rear door look to be original and uh, amazing. We're going to come up to the front and take a look at the tongue. It's got a new handle, new coupler. And if we look at the frame, you can see the frame looks pretty solid. That's the, looks like they kept it painted. Let's go down this side and look at the original windows. We've got the electrical panel right here. It uh, needs to be replaced. Um, no, we can't see it very well in the, in the light, but that's that comes with it, and we can definitely do that. So the back, man, I can't see it, but the back is pretty intense. It's got some original writing on it. All right. Let's uh, go up to the front, take a look at it inside. So the interior is very, very original. Uh, you can see a couple of water stains around the windows, which is really typical. Um, maybe just condensation, sweating. You know, aluminum windows are really known for sweating. <clears throat> but you can see that the wall paneling looks pretty incredible. It is missing trim around the windows, which I think they were gonna remodel it, maybe put some different trim. It needs to be, it needs some work. This is an original trailer and it's not something that uh, would be 100% move-in ready. It would need a little bit of work. Um, looks like it has a replacement panel that hasn't been clear-coated yet up there. Um, 
It's got most of the original light fixtures from the 50s, which is pretty incredible. Um, flying saucer light there. Uh, it's got the original dinette, which I'm not sure the exact configuration. Um, pretty. So the park models came with no furniture, and somebody put this in. This couch is missing the um, legs for it, and I know these are really popular mid-century couches, but I'm definitely not in love with it, and I would change it out. Uh, original refrigerator. Uh, looks like it works pretty good. Um, probably not super efficient. Original stove. <clears throat> you know, it's got the feels and the smells of a vintage trailer. This is the 50s you get to walk into. You get to walk into a 50s kitchen. Uh, you get to walk into a 50s living space. And you, there, I just don't know where you can do that. That's where the furnace was. Um, I would definitely put something different there. Um, a little small fireplace like one of the caboose or sailboat stoves would be perfect there. Maybe finish it out. But that does need work. It's got some original hardware in here uh, in the pantry. So looks like it's got some lights and some legs. Maybe that's for the couch. Um, let's see. Let's close that up. And then let's go into the hallway. We can see. Very clean ceiling. Uh, the floor has no soft spots in it. This is, doesn't look like the original floor. That looks like the original memoriam. How memoriam? Memoriam, I guess, is what you call it. But I don't think that's the original carpet. I think it's been upgraded. Uh, okay. So the bathroom was not used in the tub. They used. Uh, looks like they put shelving in, which is removable can take it out um, it's got what appears to be the original small toilet everything's all turquoise again this is a very intense space um, original faucets original sink uh, drawers some of the stuff has been upgraded it's got uh, you know, the plumbing looks like it might need some work it's got a garden hose attached where it probably should have a potable water, um, upgraded water heater, which we're not sure if it works. Those are fairly inexpensive. So there is definitely some plumbing that would need to be done on this to make it livable. Uh, so here is the bedroom. And it has, so, so that's what the original trim if we can see that, it's kind of dark on the window. So, um, let's see if we can shine this up a little bit and take a look at the original uh, back slider doors. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a little bit of condensation from these screws up here in the back bedroom. Looks like, you know, what you would expect for something unrestored in the 50s. This, this door opens up. Um, this uh, bed is movable and you could put twin beds or put whatever bed you wanted to in here. So, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um... I really think this trailer is cool, and tell me what you think. Thank you for looking at it.